So let me preface this video by saying I kind of lost my voice on Friday and I've only just gotten it back so in fearing losing it again I want to do a little bit of a shorter video and when I was actually writing this review I was taking a look at which fountain pen I should look at for this video and a pen that I've been meaning to review for about three or four months now is this pen. This is the Hero 70, and I have to say, it's probably one of the coolest fountain pens that I have bought in 2018, even though this pen is a little bit of a gimmick and I probably couldn't recommend it to anyone. So let's jump into the review and talk about the Hero 70. Now the Hero 17 is pretty much the same as the Hero 360. So to put it into simple terms, the Hero 70 and 360 uses a nib that is like a hybrid between a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen. And I know I mentioned ballpoint pen, please don't pick up your you know, pitchforks because let me explain. At its heart, this is still a fountain pen. It has a feed, it has you know a proper converter, and it uses ink. Where it differs from most fountain pens is it allows you to write from any direction, which is awesome, which means you don't have to actually you know write using the fountain pen's sweet spot. You can actually rotate this fountain pen and this fountain pen will actually keep writing. And I'm amazed that this actually works because it is you know, a Hero fountain pen, and my experience from Hero fountain pens isn't exactly all that great. A lot of the Hero fountain pens that I've bought in the past generally don't work, so I'm actually pretty surprised that this fountain pen works at all. Now, I will say this isn't the only fountain pen to have used something like this as, you know, part of its gimmick. I know that there's the Parker 180, which allows you to flip the nib over and allows you to go from like a medium nib to a fine nib. And I know there's fountain pens such as the Sailor Trident, which also allow you to write like a ballpoint pen. The difference there is the Sailor Trident and Parker 180 cost more than, you know, $100, $200. I've seen them on eBay and they are pretty expensive. The cool thing about this fountain pen, however, the Hero fountain pen, is it only cost me about $5 to buy. And I'm actually really happy that this fountain pen was so cheap and the fact that it actually worked. So how does this actually achieve it? Well, it's, it's through the nib design, and the nib design is pretty unique. The way that it works is it uses a very unique um, feed. So the feed is on both sides, and it sort of clamps the nib in. And the nib is designed like the Pilot Parallel Fountain Pen. So instead of actually being a traditional nib, it really is two plates, you know, pressed together. And... It also comes to a tip, unlike the Pilot Parallel, so it is very traditional in that sense. But the way that it works is at the tip, there are four little um, slits, which allows the ink to, you know, um, go out in any direction. And it's very subtle. You can only see the, you know, the side slits under a microscope or under a macro lens, but they are there, and that's what allows this fountain pen to write. Now, before we get into the writing and you know everything like that, let me quickly walk you through you know the specs and ergonomics. So, capped this fountain pen is 13.3 centimeters long. Uncapped, it's 12.9 centimeters long, and posted, it's 14.9 centimeters long. And this is a very light pen, even though that it is um, steel bodied. So, posted, this pen is 13 grams, and unposted, it's 11 grams. And I really do have to say, as a general rule of thumb for these fountain pens, ergonomics really doesn't matter because in my experience, I can't see myself using this fountain pen for extended periods of time. This fountain pen is a gimmick and I do like picking it up and using it for about, you know, 13 to 20 minutes at a time. But I just don't use this fountain pen for long enough periods of time for the ergonomics to really matter. And I have to say, the ergonomics really aren't that good. This is a crazy thin fountain pen. It's only about, you know, eight millimeters in diameter. It has a very, very slippery grip. So I can live with that when I use it, but I don't use it for long enough periods of time to, you know, actually have the ergonomics become a big issue. 
But the ergonomics are terrible. They are just awful. While it is an all right built fountain pen, it still uses an ink sack and I'm not the biggest fan of ink sack fountain pen. Anyway, I got the ergonomics out of the way because let's talk about how this fountain pen actually writes. And I have to say, I am very happy to say that it writes, it writes all right. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it does write and it does work. Yes, there are sweet spots and its sweet spots are, you know, if you have the um, slit perpendicular to the page, but true to its word, this fountain pen does write. It is a little bit scratchy because this fountain pen, you know, I guess doesn't have the best quality control, but a little bit of micro mesh will easily clear it up. One thing that I don't like about this fountain pen though is the fact that there's um, pretty much no line variation, which I would really want from a fountain pen, you know, but this one here has pretty much no line variation. But um, in terms of actually writing, it does write all right. So, oh God, I did it again. So, don't know, I do have to say, if you're gonna buy this fountain pen, it does write, but in terms of using it on a daily basis, it does get boring really fast because it's just a, it's just a steel nib, it just writes, it doesn't do anything. Yes, you can write with it from any angle, but you know, once you get used to that, there's just not much else to this fountain pen and you know, couple that with the fact that this fountain pen has awful ergonomics. I can see people buying it just for a gimmick. It's really fun to use every now and then, but as an everyday carry pen, it just doesn't work. Anyway, I hope that really um, you know sums it all up. Let's just dive into a writing sample because my voice is gone. Welcome to the writing sample for the Hero 17. This fountain pen has, I'm not exactly sure if this is a medium or a fine nib. Um, so I'll just do medium slash fine. The ink that I'm using is Noodler's Black. And of course the paper, like always, is Clairefontaine. Let's get a very quick writing sample. I'll stop there and I'll just rotate the fountain pen 90 degrees just to show you that it works. And as you can see from that writing sample, this fountain pen, you know, writes and it does achieve, you know, being able to write from most angles. And I'll show that more in a second. But in terms of writing, you can pick this up and it will work. Now, I did mention before that this fountain pen doesn't have any flex. And you can see that from this writing sample, there's no flex and there's no natural line variation. And I will demonstrate that here. So there's um, this nib, there is no natural line variation in the grind, and here it is with no pressure, and let's slowly build up pressure, and there's pretty much nothing. No line variation whatsoever. And I've got to say, you know, it, it makes writing a little bit boring, but it also means that writing is pretty quick because um, when I write with this fountain pen, I can do some pretty fast writing, you know, well, compared to um, using a regular fountain pen because, you know, in general, I'm not that much of a fast writer. But with this fountain pen, I can write pretty fast. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate me being able to write with this fountain pen from any angle because I certainly can do that. So what I'll do is I'll make a line I'll rotate it about, you know, 40 degrees. And I'll just continually, continually do that till I go all the way round. Continually rotating this fountain pen. Just to show you all that this fountain pen really can write from any direction. And I really gotta say, this is one of the coolest things about this fountain pen, but you know, the only good thing about this fountain pen because you know, writing after a while just becomes boring. 
And as well as that, I haven't smoothed out this fountain pen. So sometimes if I press really hard, the tines can grab. And it happens very, very rarely and only on some paper. But as I demonstrated there, sometimes the tines can grab. But it is very rare and I just showed it there. In terms of wetness, I think this fountain pen is about medium, you know, you know, it's average wetness. And in terms of, I mean, what else is there? Oh, in terms of sweet spots, I also have to say, while this fountain pen can write from any direction, whoops, while it can write from any directions, the sweet spots really are where the tines are at. So if this is, you know, a diagram of the nibs and the tines are here, Yes, you can write from this direction, but the sweet spots really are from here, you know, here and here, and obviously here. These these parts here are all right, but it can get a little bit scratchy and it also digs in there for whatever reason. So that is my review of the Hero 17. It's a cool little fountain pen. It is a bit of a gimmick. I cannot imagine myself using this on an everyday basis it is cool but after a while i'd much rather switch over to i don't know my pilot or something like that that offers some line variation some flex in the nib and offers a little bit more character anyway thank you very much for watching